Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another game algorithms video. And in this video, I'm going to start the restructuring and revamping of my artificial intelligence videos. Uh, five years ago, I released artificial intelligence videos and I released them with the code complete. I just quickly went over the completed code and didn't give any real examples or in-depth look at the algorithm. I just went line by line with the code. With the revamping and my Wacom tablet, I'm able to draw and I can provide a detailed look at the algorithm for each artificial intelligence topic. And I'm doing this in preparation for the new artificial intelligence series, which will be the revamped series. We'll include learning the environment and things like that. Okay, so the first thing is a very simple topic. It's called seeking. And that is, seeking is when you want one object to travel to another object, like a heat-seeking missile, for example. A heat-seeking missile will travel from the source missile launcher to the destination, whatever it tries to seek to. So that is the basic concept of the seeking artificial intelligence. We want one game object to seek to another game object. Now, you can do this once or per game loop. That way it is always adjusting to the target. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna choose this color for the source. I'm just gonna do like a arrow there. I'm gonna fill it in just a little bit. And I want this to be the, uh, I want this to be the destination. Uh, let's say we want this object that arrow object to travel to this circle. For whatever reason, we want this object to seek to that circle. And that circle allows movement. So that circle can move. So every game loop, we want this object to seek to this object. So this is a very simple algorithm. What we need to do, we need to get the the source to target vector. And to do that, we just subtract the target's position minus the source position. Now, the order is important here. So let me draw an arrow from the source, which is this, the arrow, to the target, which is the circle. So I'm going to draw an arrow from the source to the target. Okay. Now the order of how you do this is important. We want the target minus the source. Target minus the source will give us this. Source minus the target will give us this. We don't want that. So we want target minus the source. So we're going to call this uh, STV, source to target vector. So that is STV is equal to target dot position minus source dot position so stv is t dot position minus s dot position so now we know the vector we want it to use now if you can imagine this object is very far away from this object so this STV is going to be very large. We do not want the source object to travel to the target instantaneously. So what we need to do is we need to normalize STV. Normalize STV. So we normalize STV that will change its length to 1. So that will make it look like 
So that will make it look like something like that. Length of one. Then we multiply STV is equal to uh, target dot speed times STV. Because the object is traveling at a certain speed, so we want to normalize this STV, then we multiply it by the speed of our object. That should be the source, not the target. So we normalize STV, and then we multiply it by the source's speed. Now, we'll do that every game loop, so if this object... If the ball changes to this position here, we calculate a new vector that looks like this. And then we adjust our positioning. So this is a very simple algorithm, very simple artificial intelligence concept. We want the source, which is this guy, to travel to the target, which is this. So we get the source to target vector, which is subtracting the target's position by the source's position. Then we normalize that vector, and then we multiply that vector by the source's speed. So this is the algorithm for seeking AI. So seeking AI, we need to get STV, normalize STV, and multiply STV by the source's speed. That's all you need to do for that. And then update the source's velocity and rotation based off that. And that's dependent on the game. Maybe you don't need to update the rotation. If you do, uh, let's put that in blue. Actually, let's put that in this color here. Uh, so we set s dot velocity is equal to stv and then s dot rotation is equal to a tan 2 stv dot y comma STV dot X. So we update the source's velocity and the source's rotation. All right, that is it for this video. The more the further on we get down this road of covering artificial intelligence, the more complex the algorithm will become. This is one of the very basic artificial intelligence concepts. So it doesn't take that much calculation to determine how to get the source to move to the target in a seeking fashion. Uh, the next one we're going to cover is the opposite, fleeing. We want the source to flee from the target when it reaches a certain distance. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for the next one.